Hello, everyone. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. Happy 4th of July. Mother Nature providing her own fireworks details in your forecast on when and where they're most likely coming up right now. Now, a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. This morning, a chance of a few showers and thunderstorms scattered about the region. The main line, though, zipping off to the north and to the east. We still could have some stout thunderstorms in the wee hours of the morning heading into the Minot zone. Also out towards Duluth as we start out our Friday on this 4th of July. Putting things into motion as we head towards drive time, northern Minnesota, Lake of the Woods, Rainy Lake, International Falls, all of these areas along the international border uh, from southern Manitoba right into the Thunder Bay area of Ontario scattered storms. Not likely to be severe in the morning hours out to the west, but these storms moving up here could bring a risk of a few severe storms as we start our 4th of July. Heading into the afternoon, the heat returns. It's going to be another muggy day. And in the afternoon, we'll have developing storms anywhere along this boundary here. So we do have a low pressure center right here. As that moves up to the north and east, there will be a risk of isolated tornadoes, very strong thunderstorms capable of large hail and gusty straight line winds as well. We'll go through the risks here in one moment, but as we go into the timeline here, when will they hit and will it impact your 4th of July celebrations? Northern Minnesota, there's a chance throughout the evening hours as we go through. Look at Southeast North Dakota and all of Eastern South Dakota. Fargo Moorhead about nine o'clock. The storms look to be uh, rocking. Based on this model run, this could be sped up or slowed down just a little bit. Just be weather aware as we go into the 10 to 11 o'clock time frame. Northern Minnesota and the tri-state region here between the Dakotas and Minnesota seeing some of the most stout storms. Bismarck, Devil's Lake, you could see some storms on the backside of this. It could be windy and stout as well. And it does look like Montana will see a smattering of much needed rainfall across the area as well. These trek off to the east all night long. Lakes Country, Brainerd Lakes area, all the way up and towards the Grand Rapids area. Cloquet, Duluth, and the Arrowhead of Minnesota will be impacted by early morning Saturday storms on a very wet cycle as we go through continued storms out there in parts of the valley as well. These storms will just continue to dump locally heavy rain, periods of rain uh, and thunderstorm activity all the way into your Saturday morning. A couple of those could be strong, but the risk in the morning hours does wane just a little bit. We could have some stout thunderstorms Saturday and Saturday night from central Minnesota and off to the east. Notice them starting to fire here in the heat of the day in parts of Iowa and southern Minnesota. So it does look like a volatile weekend. Let's go ahead and take a look at the risks as far as we have available right now. There is a risk of all modes of severe weather as we go through. The area in green there has the best chance at seeing some severe storms. And here is a look at the modes of severe weather we may see. There is a tornado probability from the Red River Valley into northern Minnesota. The risk isn't huge, but it's not zero. I'll keep my eyes on it. The main threat, very large hail with the heat and humidity as a possibility. Uh, in the area you see in brown, including parts of North Dakota and northwest Minnesota, and gusty straight line winds possible across the entire area that we highlighted earlier. Here's your numbers as we go through your day. Enjoy, but stay weather aware. And I do want to make a note, I will be traveling and camping and I'll do my very best to cover things, but stay informed if storms form in your area on this 4th of July. Temperatures for the morning hours will be in the 70s, muggy. A few remnant storms way out to the east and up to the north is how things are looking. Then as we go toward the afternoon, shower and thunderstorm development where Hutch has them circled here. Temperatures 90 to 100 degrees across our region with dangerous heat indices as well. Stay hydrated, folks. We cool off significantly after Saturday storms in central. Central Minnesota off into eastern Minnesota could be strong or severe out to the east for us in the valley and much of western Minnesota just a very soggy day with some potent and noisy thunderstorms much cooler Sunday and into Monday than the heat returns Tuesday through Thursday our next best chance of, of storms unbelievably so happening on this seven day cycle Friday on the 12th a chance of some stout thunderstorms. Thanks for watching. Remember, one great source for weather information is always HutchesWeather.com. HutchesWeather.com, you can get the latest if you give us your location and allow the site to track you. You can get your weather alerts for your area. And also, the interactive radar allows you to point, zoom, tilt, then you got it. You can see the latest information there, my latest videos. Sign up your kids to help Hutch figure out the weather as a Luther Family Ford Hutches Weather Kid and also Here's where you get to upload your content 
of weather and fun that you're having this weekend. I can't wait to share more on that. National Weather Service page forecasts, including all active watches and warnings available here on Hutch's Weather at the bottom of the page. Click your local National Weather Service office and you can get the latest information there. And please do not forget to think of my fine sponsors here on Hutch'sWeather.com, including David Eggers, a State Farm agent right here in Moorhead Insurance. Give David Eggers and his team a chance to quote you for your young driver, your home, auto, life, you name it. They can take care of you. David Eggers, State Farm agent. And, and now, back to the details on Hutch'sWeather.com. You can get the latest there. Follow me on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, but be safe and have a wonderful 4th of July. It looks soggy and it does look stormy for many of us. I'll keep you updated to the best of my abilities.